Buttons in Swift UI can be made in two ways depending on how they should look. The simplest way to make a button is when it contains just some text. You pass in the title of the button along with the closure that should be run when the button's tapped. Button, tap me, open brace, print, button was tapped, close brace. If you want something more, such as an image or a combination of views, you should use this alternative form. Button, action, open brace, Print, button was tapped, and close the brace. Then after that, we'll do open brace, text, tap me, and close brace. This is particularly common when you want to incorporate images into your buttons. SwiftUI has a dedicated image type for handling pictures in your apps, and there are three main ways you'll create them. Image pencil will load an image called pencil that you've added to your project. Image decorative pencil will load the same image, but won't read it out for users who have enabled the screen reader. This is useful for images that don't convey additional important information. And finally, image system name pencil will load the pencil icon that's built into iOS. This uses Apple's SF Symbols icon collection, and you can search for icons you like. Download Apple's free macOS app, SF Symbols, from the web to see the full set. By default, the screen reader will read your image name if it's enabled. So make sure you give your images clear names if you want to avoid confusing the user. Or if they don't actually add information that isn't already elsewhere on the screen, use the image decorative initializer. Because a longer form of buttons can have any kind of views inside them, you can use images like this. Image, system name, pencil. And of course you can combine these with stacks to make more advanced button layouts. HStack, spacing 10, Image, system name, pencil, text, edit. Now if you find that your images have become filled in with a blue color, for example, showing a solid blue rather than your actual picture, this is probably SwiftUI coloring them to show they can be tapped. To fix the problem, use the rendering mode dot original modifier to force SwiftUI to show the original image rather than the recolored version.